Welcome to this tutorial on intact stability. Tutorial number 520 focuses on the GZ curve. So what are we talking about today? Uh, the GZ curve specifically and uh, the writing arm command in GHS, which is how you run the GZ curve. Also, how you use this to generate stability limits and evaluate stability limits. And then we'll talk about the angles command, which is a support command for the GZ curve. But first a disclaimer. This presentation is for instruction purposes only. It is not to be used in engineering for construction, and I am not a representative of Creative Systems. Everything you hear, see here is unofficial training from my own personal knowledge and experience. For official training, you can contact Creative Systems at the inf contact information on the bottom of your screen. I highly recommend it. Okay, so let's talk about the GZ curve and the GHS command. Uh, so the command in GHS is RA, which stands for writing arm, and it doesn't generate just one writing arm. It generates a whole set of them at a range of angles, which is your GZ curve. Now it does use the current draft, weight, and damage condition of your vessel at that point that you execute the command. So all of that information has to be set up beforehand, and it uses the angles that are defined by the angles command but that's its default behavior, or you can override that with your own specified angles. So you can see here there are two modes of operation. Uh, if you just type RA on its own, that runs the writing arm command using the predefined angles in the angles command, or you can put in your own overrides by typing them right after the RA command. So you can see here in the examples, uh, just typing RA that works, that'll produce a GZ curve. Or you can type RA, and then we have angles of 0, 10, going all the way up to 60. And that's 60 degrees. So that is angles in degrees. Okay, now let's talk about the really fun part though. So how do you use the RA command to evaluate stability limits? And you can do this with showing a pass-fail output or a margin from the output. And there are two ways. Uh, you've got the RA-LIM, L-I-M, um, so this is a forward slash L-I-M colon A-T-T, and A-T-T stands for attained. So what that'll do is that'll show the values that the limit calculates that you're supposed to have, and then it will show the, the values that you have actually achieved, and then it shows a quick simple pass-fail. Or you've got the limit command again with the margin added on. And that shows the limits with a margin only, so it's going to show what your limits attained are as a percentage of what they should be. Now, notice for this part, for these two commands to work, you need to have limits already defined, which is what we covered in tutorial number 510. So let's look at a few examples. So here's an output. Uh, this one was run with the limits attained command. You can see here there are the required values. Here are the attained values, and we see a simple little P or F. That stands for pass or fail. Here's an example with the margin command instead. So again, we're showing what the values are supposed to be, their minimums, and the actual attained amount is only written as a percentage of that minimum. So above 100% is good. Right, let's talk about the angles command. As I said before, this is a support command. And what it is, is you can define the angles for your writing arm command ahead of time. Uh, you type in the angles command, and then the list of angles of heel that you want. And this is again in degrees. Now, this command is pretty important actually. Uh, not for so much the ability to be able to define commands ahead of time, but you know, it's kind of handy. It's nice to have that all defined ahead of time, as you can see here. That stays with you no matter how many times you run the writing arm command. So kind of a, a um, time saver. But this is the reason I think you'll really like the angles command. So it has another use too, which is that you can use it to make sure that the vessel is always healing to the correct side. You know, and you ask, which side is the correct side? You know, should I run the writing arm command healing over to starboard or healing over to port? And the answer is that it depends on your initial heel angle. So the angles star command 
is something that you can issue. You, know, you type angles first and list out your angles of heal that you want. Then list angle star. And then run your RA command. And what this is going to do, that sequence, that's going to make sure that the vessel will always heal further in the current heal direction instead of for fighting against itself first. Right, so let's do some practical application and put this to the test. Homework number 521. I want you to start with the run file that's defined in homework 521. That's got all of your limits set up already. And then run a writing arm and compare that against those limits. And then I want you to experiment around with the angles command. And the way you can do this um, is a nice little comparison. So step number one, set your vessel at an initial heel angle of 10 degrees port. So port side, 10 degrees. And then I want you to use the angles command to specify angles of heel of 0, 5, 10, all the way up to 40 degrees to starboard. All right? Now run your RA command with limits, and this time do it as a term as a function of margin. Then I want you to use the angles star command to ensure that you have the correct heel direction. Rerun your RA command now and compare the results, specifically in the limits that were uh, your limit margins, and see if they're any different. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video informative. You can find other videos like this and the homework files on dmsonline.us. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Hey, did you know that there is a magic button down below? Click the like button or even the subscribe button and I will make more videos for you.